All right, ladies, gentlemen, say we wanted to do 26 and 10.3. Like, suppose this was on the homework or something. So we have f of x is 1 over the quantity x plus 1. And I'm supposed to find and simplify x. Wait, I'm supposed to find and simplify f of 1 over x plus 1 over f of x. Weird, right? Mm. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, so let's maybe try pieces. F of 1 over x should be what? 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x. 1 for 1 over x plus 1? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You went and got the rule for f, and then you put 1 over x in everywhere you saw an x. Yeah. Cool. All right? Okay, so then I need to take that thing, 1 over, 1 over the quantity 1 over x plus 1, plus what? 1 over, one over x. x. 1 over x, one one over x plus 1. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to call this thing star so I can stop writing, or so I don't have to write it again. So star is that stuff. Yeah? Feel free to do this. This is good practice. I don't mind deciphering these on tests. So then what do you do? That was... What? What did I do? So far I have... You have found the equation. <laughs> I have found it, but I have not yet simplified. Yeah. So how do you simplify something like this? How many times? Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. This stuff on the bottom of this fraction needs a common bottom, right? And then I'm dividing by a fraction, so I need to, I don't know, flip it over and multiply or something, right? But I can't reciprocate this thing because it's not one fraction, so first things first, I gotta find a common bottom there. What about this thing? Yeah, this is already a fraction, though, right? So I don't need to find a common bottom. I could just think about the top as 1 over 1, flip this thing over, and multiply. Okay, so I think... <coughs> okay, so I think I can... X over X. Okay, so you want to write 1 as X over X? Yeah. Okay, that seems like a good idea. And then this looks like I've got 1 over... What? X plus 1 over X x plus 1 over x, and then I'm adding this to what? x plus 1. x plus 1. You guys all see that? Okay, then what do you need to do with this left hand bit? Same thing you did with the right. Same thing you did with the right. So think about that as 1 over 1, right? Reciprocate, multiply. So you should end up here with x over x plus 1 plus x plus 1. Yeah, you can find a common bottom here, or not. Let's simplify. Yeah, I'm okay with this as in terms of simplified. If you did find a common bottom, what would it be? x plus 1. Yeah, so all told here I have star equals this thing, right? Or if I find a common bottom, the common bottom between this stuff and that stuff is x plus 1. So I think I'd get star is x over x plus 1 plus x plus 1 squared over x plus 1. And then you could like fiddle that together a little bit. Like foil and add or something <coughs> ridiculous. Yeah. In the end here, I guess you would get something like what, x over x plus 1 plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. Resist factoring that back out and canceling an x plus 1. You put that in there. <laughs> right? 
Uh, so all told, I guess we could call this x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x plus 1. Can you do any better than that? What? So what do I need? I need, if I was going to try to factor the top there, right? I need two numbers that multiply to 1 and add to 3. There's only one pair of numbers that multiplies to 1, right? One pair of integers at least, 1 and 1, right? They don't add to 3 because they add to 2 because I just did that, right? So this thing doesn't factor anymore. So you could leave it. I would probably leave it at the black stage rather than the blue. Yeah. Personally. I believe this seems simpler than that. Cool. Questions, thing? Did that get your seven and forty three? Yes. Did that get your question in there, Kim? Yeah, thank you.